Have you ever wanted to greet someone at the airport gate instead of just having to resort to just picking them up or waiting for them at baggage claim? Since 9-11, the opportunity to be able to do this has been practically shut down. However, there are circumstances where you're able to meet someone at the gate without having to buy a ticket. So in this video, I'll explain how you can get your pass to meet someone at the gate, as well as answer some of your questions on this topic. Let's go. Dream vacations start here. So the only possible way is to be able to meet someone at the gate without a ticket is to have either a valid airport gate pass, a visitor pass, or an escort pass. Without one of these passes, you'll just have to wait like everyone else until the person you are meeting exits the secured area. So what are these passes and how do you get one? Let's start with the escort pass. An escort pass, also known as a special assistance pass, is a document that allows you to enter the airport terminals without a valid ticket. An escort pass will let you accompany someone to the gate of departure, but just like any other passenger, you'll still have to go through airport security. And the same rules that apply to the passenger with a ticket will also apply to you as well. So no bringing liquids, gels, sharp objects, and other restricted items. So how do you get an escort pass? Well, an escort pass isn't just given out to anyone. Escort passes are usually handed out only if you're going to be accompanying children, the elderly, people with special needs, and military service members. These passes are issued by the airline, and each one has a slightly different policy to who and how it's handed out. So make sure you read up on the rules for each individual airline before applying for one. Airport gate passes, on the other hand, are handed out by the airport, not the airline. Some airports will let you apply for one when you arrive at the airport, and others will require you to fill out a form and get accepted before arriving. Only a few airports hand out gate passes and the process for applying is different for each one. You're going to need a good reason in order to get an airport gate pass and if you do get accepted, you're going to have to go through security just like everyone else. In the last years, a few airports have introduced visitor pass programs which allow people without a valid ticket to enter the airport. To get one, you don't even need to be accompanying anyone. With them, you can do just about whatever you want, shop in duty-free stores, access the airport lounges, dine in the restaurants, meet someone at the gates, or just experience the fast-paced atmosphere inside the airports. Usually, visitors are allowed to enter the airport only on specific time frames. For example, from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., and they still have to go through security to be scanned for dangerous goods. It's a free service, but there is a limited amount of visitor passes that each airport hands out each day. Usually, people have to apply for one at least 24 hours before, and they can do it on the airport's website by filling out a form and providing identification details. So here's a list of airports that currently hand out visitor passes, and I'll make sure to post information about these airports down in the description. The first airport is the Seattle-Tacoma International Airport. You can apply for the SEA visitor pass up to seven days in advance, and they hand out up to 100 visitor passes each day. The Tampa International Airport, the TPA All Access Program has been temporarily suspended since the pandemic and is yet to reopen. The next airport is the Bishop International Airport, which is located in Flint, Michigan. You can apply to the FNT Visitor Pass the day prior to your visit. You'll be allowed inside the airport from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. and you can apply only for one pass each month. The next airport is the Detroit Metropolitan Airport. You can apply to the DTW Destination Pass on the day prior to your visit on their website. You can use this pass from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. And when you enter the airport, you have to go to a dedicated DTW destination pass desk. The Louis Armstrong New Orleans International Airport. You can apply to the MSY guest pass no less than 24 hours in advance of your visit, and you'll be allowed inside from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. Only 50 visitors are allowed on weekdays and 100 on weekends, and people can only get one visitor pass each month. The Pittsburgh International Airport. Unfortunately, the Pittsburgh My Pit Pass program is currently suspended and is yet to reopen. And lastly, the John Wayne Airport. You can apply to the John Wayne's Airport Post Security Access Pass only inside the airport on the date of your visit. You can enter between 6 a.m. and 7 p.m. and you must exit the airport by 11 p.m. Visitors can only bring one personal item such as a purse or backpack. So here are some answers to some frequently asked questions. How far can you accompany someone without a valid ticket? Without a valid ticket, the farthest you can accompany someone is just outside the entrance to the security lines. This means you can still help someone inside the airport with checking in their bags and getting their boarding passes and making sure they know which security lines they need to be in. Can you meet someone at the airport during a layover? If you want to meet someone during their layover, you'll have to get either an airport gate pass, an escort pass, or a visitor pass. Without one, you will not be able to get through security to meet someone during their layover. Can you leave the airport during a layover to meet someone? Yes, you are generally allowed to leave the airport during a layover to meet someone, but you want to make sure you have a long enough layover to be able to do so. This is because you'll have to go through security again once you return back to the airport. You also want to be careful if you're meeting someone during an international connecting flight. 
In order to leave the airport, you may need a visa and any other documents required by the country where the layover takes place. Some countries may not even allow you to leave the airport during layovers, so make sure you read up on the rules before doing so. If you want to learn more about being able to leave the airport during a layover, or maybe you need to know how to navigate an airport for the first time, check out some of my other videos here. Just click or tap the screen to view them. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in a future video.